lemons. They didn't see this either. Hello darkness, my old friend. <laughs> I have two types of lemon squeezers. One here, and one here. Wow! Let's analyse them and take them to the drawing board. The lemon squeezer has been designed by Philippe Stark. He came up with the idea while squeezing a lemon over his squid meal, inspiring the tentacle shaped legs. Functional limitations. The product has been designed following function follows form, meaning the product has been made to look pretty before making it function properly, meaning the product is often used as a decorative feature rather than a, a lemon squeezer. The use of cast aluminium gives an, an aesthetically pleasing finish. However, the aluminium reacts with the citric acid, meaning the surface becomes tarnished with a white oxide layer. It's also unstable. During the use, you have to hold the legs due to the high centre of mass caused by the solid cast using head. Not only this, there is no method of catching the juice, meaning you have to provide your own bowl to catch the juice. There is also no way of separating the pips from the juice. Also, the pips also often get trapped in the grooves of the legs. Finally, the size of this juicer is specific for the size of a lemon, therefore larger fruits such as an orange can't be used. The base of each leg has a rubber foot preventing scratches on surfaces. Aesthetic features, the shapes of the legs are on an upward angle, preventing the juice flowing down the legs due to gravity. The narrow cross section on each gives a central spine on each which is good for casting methods and moulds. It also comes in a range of finishes, gold being appealing to a range of people. The material used in the thermoplastic lemon squeezer is polypropylene, a polymer that can come in a range of colours to suit a larger market. The polymer itself is manufactured by injection moulding. This involves heat and pressure to form a product. The material is used because of its chemical resistance to help cleaning and is suitable to be cleaned in a dishwasher without deforming. It also has a suitable work fatigue resistance, suitable to the vigorous juicing which may occur. The product is unclippable, so it is easier to recycle and clean. This means it can have a longer lifespan. And finally, the central juicing section is large enough for other citrus fruits. This means it is functional for not only lemons. Lemon squeezes, did not expect that. I have a hole punch here, but let's talk about corkscrews instead. Back to the drawing board again. The corkscrew is made by a French manufacturing company called Le Crucet, also means crucible. The premium French cookware manufacturer specialises in pots, pans, colanders and corkscrews. The Le Crucet corkscrew can range from £15 to £30 depending on design. The corkscrew has a stainless steel body with a thermoplastic grip. Stainless steel is made up of iron ore, chromium, silicon and nickel. The bottle has a single lever mechanism which requires the bottle to be steadied. There are three main processes used to make the corkscrew. The first is a rolling process which flattens out a big piece of metal into sh thin sheets to create the corkscrew. The second is a stamping process. This puts the design and logo onto the corkscrew. The third is a riveting process which holds the corkscrew together. The product can be recycled as it has a thermoplastic grip, which means it can be remounted and reused, and the stainless steel can be reused. They do not use cast iron on the corkscrew, as cast iron breaks and fractures easily. The corkscrew is used in many different restaurants around the world as it's cheap, easy to use and looks good. Anna G is a classic corkscrew designed by Alessandro Medini. It follows the design procedure function after form. The main body of the corkscrew has been injection molded to create the detailed and complex geometric shape which is strong at the same time. And to achieve the final appearance it incorporates three main die cast components which have been chrome plated. As a result, an individual would purchase this corkscrew to put on top of the kitchen surface as a means to show off this decorative appliance. The material used is polyamide, 
which is available in a range of colors to suit the client's character and personality. Finally, the external surface has been textured during molding. This gives a matte surface which will hide imperfections and scratches longer than a glossy finish, thus increasing its usage life cycle. The polyamide has a low coefficient of friction. This means that the joint with the Zamac arms will hopefully move freely throughout its life. The polyamide is also resistant to chemicals and acids, such as those contained in wine. This is useful as corkscrews are used for wine bottles. The head design doubles as a handle to screw the corkscrew into the cork and the arms raise simultaneously to the sides. The use of two levers keeps pressure on the middle of the bottle and increases stability as the cork is removed. This could be easily done on a table or worktop. To remove the cork from the corkscrew, there are four ridges underneath the injection moulded dress which grip the cork as you turn the head. This prevents the cork from turning with the corkscrew and releases it from the thread. Nice corkscrews for you. And for those who have been really concentrating on this video, you would have noticed I've changed three times. And if you haven't, then re-watch it. It's been your boy Alfie. Like, subscribe, comment, and stay tuned for the next one.